My name is uh, PJ Ganin, and I'm an associate professor in the Technology Operations and Information Management Division, and I also teach in the Management Division and in the Entrepreneurship Division. I love strategy, so I teach some strategy. I teach a lot of technology, and I teach organizational behavior, in particular leadership and uh, team building skills. The business issues that I find most is interesting are probably those that are ripped from the headlines. There's something really exciting about coming to the class and knowing that the world is going on around you and being able to bring the cases to life for the students. Particularly at an executive ed level, there's nothing like learning that your client just went through a merger or that your client did some incredible downsizing or that your client just bought new technology. And then trying to weave whatever story you can into their expectations into that classroom real time, that, that's really cool, that's really exciting to me. Because what we're starting with, starting on the first day, is building your strategic plan. The way to communicate to the next generation. Okay, it's all about the next generation. They ain't going to be listening any other way. Email is gone. You know, Chris has stopped crying about it. She's just figuring out new ways. What's the message? Quickly, what's the message? Cost I study Web 2.0. I study new technologies. And the work that I do in the classroom is really about teaching students and teaching fast track, teaching executive education, teaching, you know, whatever client it has to be, how to use new technologies. We have companies out there that are creating their marketing plan every day in a different way. And we don't know what the metrics are. We don't know if it's going to work. We don't know if we even like what the responses are because we can't control the message. But that to me is exciting because an entrepreneurial thinker says I'm not afraid of risk. I'm willing to manage those risks. And with technology nowadays, we think we can make a difference. There shouldn't be anybody that walks into an executive ed classroom that doesn't leave as a leader. That's cool, that's a given, that's what any school does. But we would like to believe that our edge is creating the entrepreneurial leader. And that's the person who's not daunted, that's the person that's not afraid, that's the person who takes qualified risks, that's the person who's innovative, and that's the person that gets up every morning, remembers what they forgot the day before, learns from all those mistakes and says, I can do this. I often see the world as today starts with a little bit of strategy and there's usually a little technology in it and if I'm teaching leadership, I'll certainly focus on leadership. But so much of what I've learned here at Babson is integrative and that's my, now my view of the world. And because of that, hopefully I would never teach executive ed as a silo and I would never promote any kind of silo thinking to my clients. I'm passionate about teaching. Um, my favorite line is if Dick Clark, I think he's still giving the money, if Dick Clark gave a million dollars at the old sweepstakes, I would take the money and then I would come back and teach because I have the best job in the world.